Have you ever looked at a word or phrase you type and something just looked off about it? In topography, kerning is a process of adjusting the spacing between characters or letters in the text. Tracking, on the other hand, adjusts space uniformly over a range of characters. I didn't cover kerning in the previous videos and I probably should have. Hi, my name is Michael Chow, and in today's tutorial, it's time to show you how to kern like a pro using the Type Tool and Touch Type Tool in Illustrator. The way to kern your type is in my character panel. Bring the character panel down, go to the menu, window, type, character, or the keyboard shortcut is Command T on a Mac or Control T on a PC. The kerning setup is right below the font size in the character panel. I place my cursor between the two letters as above, and I can either enter a number or use the up or down arrows to get what I want. The up arrow moves the space into the right, and the down arrow moves the space into the left. Or if you want, and I prefer this method, using keyboard shortcuts. Place the cursor between the two letters and press at the same time Command Shift right square on a Mac to go right, and Command Shift left square to go left. On a PC, hold the Control key, not the Command key. Or you can also try Alt left or right arrow keys to increase or decrease kerning on a Mac, and Option left or right arrow keys to increase or decrease kerning on a PC. To reset your kerning, Command Option Q on a Mac and Control Alt Q on a PC and the numbers in the character panel will go back to zero. Next up, how to kern the type using the Touch Type tool in Illustrator. Either select the Touch Type tool in the Character panel or the Area Type tool. Hold until you see the Touch Type tool icon. The keyboard shortcut is Shift T. The icon will change, of course, and it may ask you to select a character to get started. I have over my type right here, and you can tell the icon has changed to show the Touch Type tool. Select which type you want to adjust, and this tool improves the occurring of individual letters or also scaling or rotating a letter. Perhaps the most useful part of this tool is you can select the letter you want to current, then use your keyboard arrows to move it either left or right. If you add the shift key to the arrows, the current jumps up to 10 steps much faster. This is a fast way to go in here and kind of current up your words while still maintaining a fully live and edible type. Another method of doing this is you can go in there and use the character panel and use the tracking, but tracking isn't the way to go. Keep on making several changes until you think the overall current of these letters is pretty close. You can also use your keyboard keys to move it up and down, or you can click on the letter and then drag it around, but there's no way to make sure it maintains its perfect horizontal or vertical position. So you want to make sure it's a smooth transition. You probably want to go into want to use your keyboard keys, you have so much more control over it. It's a bit slower than clicking on the actual letter than moving it around. But that's it for the touch type tool. It's a very cool tool that I haven't used much in the past at all because it's not the way I did things. But I probably should have because it's a handy tool that can save you a lot of time and allows you to make some pretty powerful edits very quickly and easily to your type while still having your type be fully editable. Hopefully you found this helpful and if you did, please like it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. That way when a new video is released like this, you'll get notified.